and globally buildings uh, contribute close to 40% of the global carbon emissions. Is Johnson Controls working on saying, actually, we failed with the human beings. Let's just put AI in the middle of this. Before I get to that, I'll just add one more point. We've been talking about EVs, we've been talking about plastic, uh, but one of the most taken for granted aspect is the indoor space where we spend 90% of our time, uh, time in a day, which is buildings. And globally, buildings uh, contribute close to 40% of the global carbon emissions. So that's a big component which is seldom uh, looked at or, or considered. Uh, and a, a part of that 40% is the embodied carbon, which is during the construction phase where, where, where you can look at cement, where you can look at steel, which is more energy efficiently produced. Uh, but a lot of it is operations, uh, like you said, 27-28% of the emissions are from the operations, where uh, if you can't get the training part for a human to operate it efficiently, there's, there's enough technology available out there in the market. And especially, I mean, from a Johnson Controls perspective, we, we look at a lot of machine learning kind of technology, which can integrate all of it. I mean, just take an example. I think we are freezing because there were supposed to be maybe 100 people here. That's why the temperature is set to accommodate the, the heat generated by 100 people, but there aren't that many. So, uh, but there's no automation detecting that there aren't many people, so you can actually change the cooling. But that doesn't require AI. That's, that, that's a really common, simple feedback. That's common bit. sense. That's yeah. com but that's automation. Yes. At a lot of places, especially in our region, uh, you wouldn't find the basic automation also in place. Uh, a lot of it is with the design stage because uh, people want to cut corners at the beginning where it's a typical contracting kind of a job. You don't want to put a heavy investment during constructing a building. Uh, but a lot of it in the operational life cycle could have been saved if you went ahead with putting in basic automation uh, to connect it. Uh, the machine learning part is goes beyond just the common sense of changing set points. Uh, it, it, it goes beyond to connecting everything from a AHU, from a chiller, uh, from a security system to a fire system where you can do a lot of analytics and then drive comfort uh, or, or occupant well-being as well from that perspective.